everyone. Welcome back to Stationeer's Venus. Um, we're picking up where we left off, where I left off last time. I'm just filling up my oxygen tanks. As you can see, I've emptied all my, my waste tanks. Now, one thing I forgot to do last time was uh, quickly check on the uh, gas capture for my heat tank. Uh, I've got that air conditioner running. It's all good. Um, yeah, that's honestly probably enough. Oh, hang on. I did turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, I did remember to turn it off. I thought I thought I had this still going already. Um, okay, so this is slowly heating. It's 527 now, which means I could actually use that gas if I wanted to. Just connect it up to my furnace and just smelt iron for free. I'm going to let that go. I, I want to get it up to like over 1500, honestly. I, I, I would love to have super hot air that I can just flood in and furnace stuff for free. So um, today's uh, episode, I'm going to be making uh, probably two of the advanced alloys. I'm definitely going to be making Inconel, um, which is needed for the sensor goggles. Um, I'm not going to bother bringing that up. Um, and hopefully I can uh, showcase them at the end of this episode. Um, I also want something called Astraloy, which I'm probably going to get another time, because that's going to require a ton of mining to get all the stuff I want. And I want a lot of Astraloy. But let's just focus on the in canal for now. Um, I'm just going to do a few little jobs around here first. Um, for one, I've been itching to get rid of this locker. Well, not get rid of it, but just move it somewhere. I think I know where I'm going to move it. Uh, first, let's just rip it up. And I actually think I want to move it here. So, right there. Uh, I'll just stick a locker there. I don't know what to put in there. Probably my recyclables, since it's right next to the recycler. Um... This stuff here, let's let's uh, get it over there. Not this stuff here. Uh, where am I? Oh, it's right here. Uh, I'll start stockpiling filters in here, for instance. Um, and now I've freed up space, I can put down my tables and put down appliances and things. Um, honestly, I, I think I can go all the way hard up against here. I wonder how much room. Do I have room for another battery charger? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. I can stick the small one there. Um, once I have Astraloy, I'm going to be making nuclear batteries. Uh, but to charge all them, I'm really going to have to upgrade my entire power array. But uh, yeah, I can, I can stick this here for now and just have um, a small battery charger next to my large battery charger. Uh, all good. Um, so let's, let's just hook this up. I was in the process of hooking up my airlock uh, last time when I, when I stopped playing. Uh, this is good. Um, I can swap batteries out whenever I want now. Uh, most stuff has got a, a, a large battery in it. So, drill. Yeah, these are all got large batteries in them. Um, that's a large battery. What about my... What about this thing? Ah! Should have put this stuff away. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Okay, we'll chuck that there. Yeah, then we'll put it back again. Let's uh, let's just eat a bit. There we go. Just a tiny bit. I need to drink as well. And then we, we're good. I, I just wanted to check this battery here. 96 is fine. It's fine. 96 is close enough to 100. Uh, I would like to finish hooking up this, uh, this airlock here. As you can see, the temperature in here has dropped to 422. It'll keep dropping as that air conditioner plows away. I'm not actually running the air conditioner for the cooling. Um, it's kind of just a, a, a good, you know, uh, the, the cooling itself is kind of just a, a cool little um, benefit. It's just a side benefit. I don't care about it. Okay, let's get on the other side. Very close to hooking this airlock up. And uh, honestly, I should have gone down before. Um, I, I can I can squiggle it down like this. It's not this is probably not the best way to do things, but uh, it's good enough. There we go. Um, and this whole airlock is now hooked up. This should actually work. Fantastic. Um, I just remembered why I had the renaming tool on me. I was um, I was gonna rename everything. So I'm not sure what I've named everything so far, but we'll, we'll get the renaming done. Uh, which is just one task at a time. So this is the 
yes yeah, so this is just called active vent now this one is actually going inside so this is my internal active vent my internal vent um we're going to call it main base door internal vent that'll do i'm gonna control c copy that confirm this is going to be called control v main base door external vent so I just have to train it that into an X. There we go. And this is the external main base door. And this is the internal main base door. This will be the uh, main base door gas sensor. Fantastic. Everything's named. Now I can uh, create a cycling airlock without too much trouble. I want to put that away. Um, oh, ooh, what am I taking that out for? I need that in. Um, okay, and so it should be just a case of uh, scroll down the list and find the main base stuff. So I should have gone main base internal door. But anyway, uh, first we have the external door. So external main base door, that's the exterior. Then you click the internal main base door, interior, uh, main base external vent, main base internal vent, that's this one here, and then the door, the guest sensor. Then when I pull this, I should now have a cycling airlock. And uh, before I test that out, I'm going to put these back in the uh, in the cupboard. I really want to keep the data disk on me. Uh, it, at this stage, it don't, I don't care if I have to like, you know, plow my way through a window to get back into the base if uh, if the power runs out. Um, so cycle of exterior. Oh, I cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, I, I just realised something. I forgot to set the pressure on there. Cycle to interior. Yeah, sometimes this happens. Yeah, that's okay. Um, cancel. This should open now. I, I I think they're probably both set for 101 at the moment, which is no good. Which is no good at all. So uh, this happens sometimes. You, you kind of just forget to, to do something. Uh, let's let's do this again. Let's chuck this in. I just need to change these two values at the top. Yeah, they're both set for 101. Um, I, I want them both set for the external pressure. Okay, so external internal. So the external pressure setting um, is always going to be what is the pressure out there? It's it's like 238 megapascals or 237. That'll do 238. And the internal is going to be much lower. Um, at the moment, we can see it's 222, so let's make it 200 for now. And I'm going to have to keep changing this as time goes by. Um, as my air conditioner cools the base down, the pressure will drop, and I'll have to keep changing that thing. Uh, for now, that, that'll do. Next time I come back in here, I, hopefully that 200 is close to the mark. Um, okay, so now, yeah, I, I can cool this base down a lot quicker as well by just gas swapping by running a line from this nitrogen tank, um, or I could just stick a vent, an external vent here and power it up and uh, suck gases into here um, and suck gases out. Another vent connected to my main uh, atmospherics line, I can suck the gases out and replace them with nitrogen. And I can do that anytime I want. I'm not going to, I want this uh, air conditioner working over time, producing heat for me. Uh, like, like I said, eventually I might just slap a wall here and just try and once again cool the planet <laughs> um okay so this is looking good this is looking good um that waste tank's almost full so i'm going to um i'm going to just quickly quickly uh get rid of that i don't mind if it floods straight in my o2 tank my o2 is a little bit too cold now i want in canal and the ratios are two gold one nickel one steel the steel is a bit of a problem uh, let's see what we've got in terms of steel. Do we have any steel in here? No. Turn that off. Uh, do we have a steel in there? Uh, no. Steel here? No. All my steel is in here. 592. Now, when I pull that out, I'll have this 92 grams of steel, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm going to be making more iron walls at some point. So what I might do is just... Oh, it's already there. More kit walls. I'm going to make two kit walls. Make it a, a perfect 590. And then I'm going to pull the ingots out. I mean, there are other ways to do this, but since I had the steel available to me anyway, I'm going to just do this. I want to just quickly get some Inconel. Inconel to me is 
incredibly important because that's going to let me get my sensor lenses and it's going to make getting all the other advanced alloys so much easier. Okay, let's pull this out. There'll be two ingots of steel, a 500 and a 90. This 90 I'm going to turn into Inconel. And the rest of this stuff can honestly just go straight back in here again. Okay, so it's a two gold, one nickel, one steel. That's the ratio. So if I've got 90 steel, I'm going to need 90 nickel and 180 gold. Um, so that's, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to hopefully be able to get those resources right now. Am I forgetting anything? I should check on my greenhouse temperature. I can do that from outside. I really need to get a monitor here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time this episode. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to rush like crazy to get done what I can. I forgot to get water. Oh, okay. I'll just use my suit water. When my water runs out, I'll just use my suit water. That's what it's for. Um, okay, so I want to rush out. I want to get 90 nickel and 180 gold. So that's three stacks of gold plus another 30. Um, it's a lot of gold. There's a lot of gold around my base, and I'm probably going to be mining all that out right now. So how this airlock, this airlock is exactly the same as the greenhouse airlock. It just sucked all the base air back into the base. And now it's filling this with outside air. Okay, let's go. Let's get out. So no whoosh or anything. I'm going to hit this now. I've got that early warning system in place. Okay, everything's good. Greenhouse temperature, 45. Okay, let's put the wall cooler on. And that should slowly tick down. I like to just quickly check to make sure nothing went wonky. Yep, wall cooler is running. And we know that's going to slowly tick down. Yeah, 45.0, it's slowly ticking down in temperature. When I come back, it, it might be like 20 degrees, and I might have to turn the wall cooler off and let it go back up again. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this steel in my cupboard here. Let's get all this out of the way. I'm going to need to make more steel very soon. And I'm going to do that at the same time as I'm making uh, a lot of other things. Like stellite, I usually combine that with steel. Also, astraloy and steel go together as well pretty nicely. Um, astraloy will be the next video or the video after. I'm not sure. It depends on what, how we go. So I've got the 90 steel. I need 90 nickel and 180 gold. Um, okay, so I know there's nickel out the back of my base right here. Uh, there's gold right there. I'll grab that in a second. Let's see if I can find this nickel. Yeah, a big, big nickel field right here. Uh, let's hope terrain updates for me. Updates pretty soon. One thing, um, one thing I noticed is if the terrain's not updating, I can dig a lot of terrain away, and I can just hit pause, and it actually updates while it's paused. Not usually that fast. But sometimes I'll, I'll dig and dig and dig and nothing will happen. I'll sit there and I'll just pause the game and I'll just sit there and just wait and wait and wait, you know, go off and go to the bathroom or, you know, get a drink or something. And then when I come back, I can unpause it and then it's now updating. So that's actually really cool. It's not going to be helpful for these videos because these videos are, are not, I'm not editing them as at, at all. So um, they're, they're just me, they're just me playing um, straight. So. I'm not going to be doing that in these videos. You're not going to have these periods where, um, you know, I just pause a video and go to the bathroom and you all just sit, sit, at a, sit there staring at a pause screen for five minutes. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that so much. What I might do in future videos, though, is particularly if I'm going to be mining at the start of a video, is uh, I might actually uh, load up the game, mine where I want to mine, and then um, pause the game and then come back and then start the video and you guys will see the terrain updating. I've already got my 90 nickel. I, I don't want to waste time. I mean, I, I actually want all this nickel. I, I should I should expose some so I can find it later. Actually, I'm not going to need to find it later. I'm about to get sensor lenses, uh, which hopefully I can showcase at the end of this episode. Um, that's why Inc Inconel for me is a very high priority. Uh, Astraloy is for me is the second highest priority. So I'm just exposing nickel right now. Okay, um, gold, gold, gold. Now this is a hard one, 180 gold, and gold is one of the slowest resources to mine. So, um, uh, oh, copper, I don't need copper just yet. Actually, uh, I'm gonna need stacks and stacks of it for the asteroid la later. So if I just happen to suck up a little bit of copper here and there, it's gonna help me later on. 
So uh, let's just get all this gold. So I can see gold behind that copper there. I'm just going to dig away this thing. This is a copper and gold deposit intermingled, which uh, is pretty nice. The, uh, the the astraloy is is much harder to make. I actually have to do uh, some sort of combustion thing to do it. There's a, a few ways to do it. Uh, I'm going to try next episode. I'm going to try the the cheesy way. See if I can uh, cheese my way an astraloy by using. Yeah. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'll do it the the, the non cheesy way. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be sucking up gold here until I have 180 of it. Unfortunately, you can't split ingots. I can't take that 90 ingot and split it in half and make the mining burden smaller. Um, and from this point forward, I'm going to be making like steel in like stacks of 200 at a time, and that way I can I can use those stacks to make other make advanced alloys. Rather than making it, you know, a giant thousand steel, two stacks of 500, I'm more likely to do, yeah, 200 at a time. Uh, okay, so... Which is a lot harder to do, because after you get the first lot of steel, you have to feed the resources in and then get the second lot. With an advanced furnace, so it, it's, it's much easier. If I can get that heat tank up to steel temperature, and it will get there eventually, um, I, I can do that with steel. That's another good use of having like a, a heat tank. Just a tank of hot air. <laughs> it doesn't have to. It doesn't even matter what air it is. Well, you probably don't want it to be hydrogen or oxygen, but uh, the atmospheric air is fine to be honest. It's not, you know, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. It's not going to react with anything. It's not going to cause me any problems. Don't worry about combustion in pipes and things like that. Okay, there doesn't seem any gold here. I'm going to save time by uh, abandoning this and coming back. I'm just going to get rid of that nasty looking floating bit of dirt. Uh, suck up a couple more bits of uh, of copper. And now let's head off and find more iron, uh, gold. Oh, there's a lot right here. Hopefully this is a large gold deposit. <laughs> I don't think I've touched it too much just yet. But I'm still nowhere near that. Oops, place tank critical falling down. Sucked up some iron accidentally in the middle of all that. That's fine. I'm going to need a, a lot of everything. I, I just don't want to do too much mining while I'm videoing. I kind of want to end every video with me heading off to mine and then start the next video with me coming back. So you don't have to watch all the boring mining stuff. Um, 180 gold. I mean, gosh, it's, it's a crazy amount. I mean, I could print off a ton of extra, like, iron walls, but honestly, I, I, I want a very large amount of Inconel. And the reason is, um, nuclear batteries cost five Inconel each. And uh, I, I want to outfit all my um, power controllers with, with uh, nuclear batteries, my, my life support with a nuclear battery, my important tools like my drill and uh, my welding torch, a welding torch is not important, it just runs out so quickly. So once I have Astraloy Inconel combination, I'll be using up my Inconel like crazy. Oops, okay, water. I don't want to hear that panting sound. I don't need to. i got water, water to spare. I've got my water shelves in place. I'm probably going to make just a water locker, because it's actually a poor use of space and shelves. Two locker kits should give you 30 slots, where, but if you just have them as shelves, you only get 10 slots for the two shelves. Uh, where are we at? 60. We're one third of the way there. Come on, I want to go faster than this. Get, get a lot more gold. Gold, gold, gold. Okay, uh, it looks like there's probably a few more bits of gold in here. Once I have sensor lenses, I'll be able to find it later on. Oh, well, I was just digging a little bit more in that direction and I found some gold. So I'll just dig a little bit further in this direction. Okay, I found some gold. Uh, but if I hadn't have found anything, then I would have just flown out of here. Okay, this is actually quite a nice gold deposit. I'll just keep poking in the sides of the walls for a little bit longer and then... Oh, uranium, I don't want that. Uranium currently doesn't have a use. I'm hoping they give it a use. I mean, it's in the game, so... I'm guessing that maybe the nuclear batteries will be made by uranium or something, or they're going to add nuclear power plants, or... I have no idea what they're going to do with 
uranium. Probably nuclear power is going to be a power source you can use. Who knows? At this stage, it doesn't matter. Was that? That's a bit of gold sticking up. I just as I was flying out, I thought I saw the little purplish, grayish hit, hit tinge in the in my view. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. I can come back later. Let's get more gold. Let's get more gold. I got 71. I'm not even halfway there yet. I know there's gold down here. So let's dig all this out. Now, I know I've been complaining about cobalt and finding it everywhere and it being useless. Now cobalt becomes precious. It becomes very, very precious. I know there's some right next to this um, gold deposit on the other side up there. But if I dig through all this, oh, there's lots of gold here. If I dig through all this, there should be cobalt just on the other side. I remember it hard up against my base. If I see it, I'll, I'll probably suck some of it up right now. Um, oh, more gold. Here we go. And more gold. Great. I got 90. I'm halfway there. Halfway there. Um, and, and like I was saying last episode, Inconel is basically free. And the other one, uh, Waspaloy, is also free. I've actually got no use for Waspaloy. I think the only thing it makes is a hard suit jetpack, which is what I'm currently using. So um, I, I might make a little bit just to show everyone how it's made. That That's it, pretty much. Um, yeah, so, so like, you know, the, the bare minimum, the smallest amount I could possibly make. Uh, what, what is Waspalay? It's two lead, one silver, one nickel. So um, I've got extra nickel there. I might, I might just collect one silver some, somewhere. There's more gold here. This is great. Okay, we're up to two stacks. We need three stacks and another 30. But uh, there are lots of gold here, which is great. This is great. So hopefully it doesn't take too much longer for me to get to that 180 mark. Uh, wa yeah, wa Waspaloy, like, really, I only want, I don't, I only want, like, three of the advanced alloys. I don't want them all. Because on Venus, you start with the advanced, you know, the hard suit helmet, the hard suit jetpack, um, the hard suit, just the hard suit itself. You start with all this. You don't need to make them. If you, if you were starting with, uh, you know, if you're starting on an easier world and you don't start with the hard suit stuff, then it, it, it does become very, very important to make Waspaloy. And on those worlds, Waspaloy isn't, like, free. Okay, so we're going to just... Whoa. Uh, is there any more gold in here? I don't want to spend too much longer. Uh, I, I know, I know the um, there it is. There's the cobalt, and this is probably a much larger deposit as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm uncovering it all. I'm not going to suck it up. It's just going to waste time. Uh, um, there's more gold up on this hill, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah i got to remember those uh, volatiles are there. Uh, I'll grab them later. I don't want them to grab them now because I don't want to fill my belt with stuff. You can see the advantage of this advanced mining belt. It's so good. That's more gold through there. But this terrain isn't updating, unfortunately. Whoa, I'm inside the terrain. That is dangerous. If you're inside the terrain and then it updates, screech. Damage your suit, damage you, might even kill you. So uh, learning how to play around these bugs is is uh, yeah, it's, it takes a long time, and even even then I still occasionally get squished once in a while. Uh, when I first started playing and was encountering these terrain bugs, I was getting squished a lot, so I didn't really understand what was going on, what was happening. It's only really been the last couple of playthroughs, you know, the, the ones I'm videoing, Vulcan and Venus, that I've kind of figured out the terrain glitches and how to avoid them to some extent. I use my jetpack a lot, just so I don't fall through the world. That was copper, I don't mind that. What am I up to? I, I only need, like, I've got 47 more gold, I think, is all I need. Is there any more here? Oh, there's some there. And, uh, cool, more here, fantastic. Um, and more up there. Great. I know I haven't grabbed the stuff down there yet. I was just searching for more. Oh, I'm just opening a window to somewhere. 
the other side of the hill, maybe? No, that's just uh, terrain glitching. Um, grading all this iron, honestly, is not a problem. I'm just, uh, it's just filling up space. That's the only issue I'm worried about. I, iron's not my priority, but it's in the way of my gold. So I'm, I'm digging it up just to see if there's any gold behind it. And there was. So it's a good, good thing I was sucking it up. But I, I don't, I don't need, you know, I don't need it yet. I will need it. I'm going to need a ton of steel. Um, a lot of my steel is going to be turned into astraloy. Um, I, I need to go back and check on my greenhouse temperature. I need to know what's what's going on there. I'm just uh, hoping to get more gold here. So I'm getting close. I got 157. If, if I could just find power low, that's fine. Waste tank's about to fill. I'll, I'll swap that over now because I hate hate those warning messages. They're so irritating. They just get on your nerves so much. Uh, I'm going to need to find a little bit more gold somewhere. I don't think this is. If there is any more here, it's not worth wasting time searching for it. There's some more gold. I don't. I don't know if there's any under the terrain here. I'll just poke a couple of holes in there. Oh, good thing I did. Uh, what am I up to? 160, 163, 165, 15 more gold, and uh, we can go make ink canal. So, oh, lots of gold. Great, fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It's not updating. That was updating. Now it's not updating. Weird. Okay, 172. I just need 8 gold. I'm sure there's got to be some in, in amongst this terrain. I just have to wait for it to update. Uh, I'm just going to keep digging away at the outer layers. Just uh, creating a, a crater that you can't see yet, but we'll magically be able to see very shortly. Let's uh, dig around the top here. Oh, you see, that's updating, that isn't, but I can look through that. Look at all the gold! So I can use this terrain glitch to my advantage to see what else is down there. Okay, tons of gold. I'm loving this. This is great. I'm going to expose this gold. I only need five more gold. Hopefully that's only two, two gold nodes. Okay, let's get three from this one. Fantastic. Perfect. It didn't update. And there's some gold on there, but I got exactly 180. I'm stoked. I'm thrilled. Okay, we can get on to the task of making Inconel. I can't wait. I want my sensor lenses. Uh, where did I put that? Okay. Um, let's let's uh, try and organize this stuff a little better first. Uh, there we go. And that's 10. That's 50. Um, I'm going to make a get, you know, as usual, get my usual setup where I, I try and get ready for a big steel deposit. This is all going to be turned into steel as well. Uh, not right now, though. I'm not going to get the furnace hot enough for steel. I don't need to. Um, and this copper is in preparation for the upcoming huge astraloy smelt that I'm going to do. Now, um, I, I'm going to split off seven of these. Now, after I do Inconel, I'm going to also do Waspaloy. Uh, and I'm only going to make like like one ingot of it, only just one gram of it. I'm going to make the smallest amount possible. I need one silver, one nickel, and two lead. So uh, let's actually split that off now. Split off one. There we go. And we'll, we'll put it up here for now. Uh, so one silver and one nickel. Uh, one silver and, and two lead. I remember seeing lead at the back of my base somewhere. Out, out here, just a bit past the nickel, I think it was. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Oh, and there's silver here too, fantastic. And a bit of submerged lead. This is great. Um, I can't put this ingot in my mining belt, unfortunately, but this is all going to go towards my ink canal right here. How's, uh, I didn't check my greenhouse. Oh, I I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Um, okay, just, just a tiny bit of silver. Yeah, that's it. And then a tiny bit of lead. That's it. That's all I want. Um, honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd like to turn, what's this, oh, okay, I'm going to expose this lead. It, it, I'm tempted to mine it, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll make more than the smallest amount. I just run an even amount of lead. There we go, 22. That means I need 11 silver and 11 nickel. How much nickel did I have? I wasn't paying attention. More, more nickel's always good, though. Okay, I'll dig this up later. 
I need to find some silver. I know where silver is far from base. I was hoping to find some close to base. Oh, gold deposit out here. Okay, i got to remember this is here. Um, I definitely have to remember this here. There's lots of volatiles out here as well, which I'll need for the Astroloy. I might not actually even need it for the Astroloy, uh, believe it or not, if I, if I cheese, cheese it out. Um, I'm looking for silver right now. Lots of shinies, but they're all gold shinies. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be dis disappointed to find gold. Um, here we go, silver. So, I, I want 11 silver. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So, I just need to check how much nickel I have. Let's check the greenhouse temperature while I'm down here. Where are, what's the greenhouse looking like? 37.6, that's great, that's fine. Um, nickel. So, I've got 7 nickel. I want... 11 nickel and uh, honestly one two three so I'm gonna be making more than I anticipated it's a uh, two lead to one silver to one nickel ratio and this can honestly just sit there I will need a lot more silver for the other um, uh, the other advanced alloys okay we're, we're almost there I'm just getting a little bit more nickel um, we'll go back to my nickel deposit out here and uh, we just need four more nickel, so eh, that's good enough. I mean, I, I need a lot more than four. I'd, I'd love to mine all that up, but I'm trying to save time. If I, if I was playing this and not videoing, I would uh, actually just go on a massive mining run and 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 you know just stack myself with minerals galore, uh, all in one hit. But uh, I'm just trying to get the bare minimum I need to demonstrate what I want to demonstrate. Okay, so we have everything we need. We've got our 90 steel our 90 nickel and our 180, 150, 180 gold. Uh, so all this and this is going to be used to make my um, Inconel. And then all this, two lead, 11, nickel, uh, 11 silver and 11 nickel is going to be going into Waspaloy. And I think that'll make me 11 Waspaloy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's let's get this going now here's the thing uh, I don't need to stick canisters in here I just need to stick gas in here and to atmospheric gas is hot enough it's just hot enough now let's uh, turn this no not the output let's turn the input on let's go let's start getting some of those gases in here Caution. yeah okay I'll swap this out early okay so I just need to fill this uh, well, what's happening oh I didn't turn it on <laughs> don't forget to turn it on Okay, so this is going to fill up, and when it gets between 23.5 and 24 megapascals, that's in canal, that, that's in canal right there. So I'm, I'm going to just uh, start plonking in my uh, resources. We'll start with the nickel, um, wait till that gets uh, all processed. At the same time, this is just going to go up in pressure while I'm doing it. Uh, that, that nickel was done very quickly. Okay, let's stick in number 50 more. Um... Yep, okay, that should say 90. Okay, we'll stick our 90 steel in as well. So it's, it's one nickel, one steel, and two gold. That's the ratio, one, one, two. After that, I'll just start plowing my gold in. Pressure is at nine. I remember I'm looking for 23.5. Oh, yep, they're both in, and now it's just a case of chucking gold in. I, I want a lot of ink canal, so I'm actually happy to just burn through all that steel. Whoops, let's get, get going. How's the pressure looking? The cool thing about having these inbuilt um, volume pumps is I can uh, I can turn this pressure increase off any time I want. There's the 80. There we go. This is so easy, honestly. I'm just using an active vent. That's it. Just one active vent. The canister storage is for the other uh, the other um, the, the harder alloys. But these two, Inconel and Waspaloy, honestly, is just so easy. Now I just have to wait for this to get to 23.5. Then I switch it off and then pull the lever. It's easy. Um, yeah, it's fine. I was just making sure there was no build-up in there. So we're at 19 megapascals. I don't even have to have my uh, tablet out. Um, yeah, 19.6. And if I go overboard, I accidentally go over 24, I can just release some of the pressure. Um, okay, so which one of these buttons is decrease? This one. Okay, I'm just going to hover over this with my tablet. I can just uh, push push my left mouse button to um, to, to you know to slow down the rate at which this gas comes in. I've got it at full ball at the moment. I'm just going to start spamming that button, and uh, in a second, 
23.5 we're looking for. That'll do, honestly. Okay, 23.63. It's not moving because it's it's fine. Uh, and watch this. Hover over it. We'll produce 90 grams of ingot Inconel. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We have our Inconel. Easy. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get to playing with that very, very soon. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate Wasp Alloy. Um, you just need the temperature of the furnace to be over 50. That's it, 50 pressure. So I left this thing on. I might, I might turn it off for now. And uh, let's let's get some more more stuff in. Remember, the bottom is the input. And we just need to get that pressure above 50. And I'll, I'll get this stuff primed, ready to go. It'll honestly be really, really quick. Um, this, this can't have much more in it. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to need to turn the active vent back on. Uh, just keep an eye on this. It's going to start making some really awful sounds when it gets past the 40 megapascal mark. Don't panic, it won't explode until 60 megapascals. Blowing up a furnace is quite spectacular. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a fun little pastime. Um, but yeah, basically once this hits over 50, the temperature is fine. Um, the, the temperature um, needs to be, um, what, what, what is it? Yeah, the temperature needs to be, uh, I, I, f I forget. It's, it's really, really low, that's, that's the thing. Um, uh, the temperature for Wasp Alloy, I'm just looking it up, 127 to 527. So we're, we're easily within range there. Um, normal atmospheric temperature, 464, is perfectly fine for Wasp Alloy. That's why we're just using a, a, um, atmospheric gases. What is, uh, why is this slowed down? Did I accidentally click one of these? No, there's nothing going out. It's just stuff coming in. It's just taking its time. I got a hundred liters input. It's, it's, this is the bottleneck, this active vent here. I could have another active vent pulling in as well if I wanted to increase the rate, but it's not necessary. Okay, so when the pressure starts to go over 40 megapascals, you're gonna see some, God, hear some God awful sounds, some terrifying sounds. Okay, so we're, we're, we're nearing this 40 megapascal region right now. I don't need to have this open. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sounds like it's about to blow up. But uh, you've actually got until 60 before it blows. You're not damaging anything. It's just the sound effect that's put in the game. So if you want to make wasp alloy, you have to listen to, to these horrible sounds. So I've got all my stuff in there primed. I've got uh, a lot of O2 in there now. Yeah. So uh, we're we're past the 44 pr pressure mark. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this thing off. I'm gonna like decrease the pressure rate to zero when it gets to 50. I'll also turn off the active vent so I don't blow up this pipe by accident because I leave it on by accident. But yeah, as you can see, we're at 46 and a half, still rising. We're doing okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm going to hover over this uh, decrease thing. I'm going to just slam it, just wildly click it when I hit 50. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And, okay, let's decrease. Okay, it stopped at 50.17. Let's turn this off now. I'm not going to do this on for a while. Oh, why is it? causing me problems right now, right at the crucial time. It always does. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the pressure to 50 megapascals. The temperature's just like, you know, a little less than outside temperature. And, oh, there we go. We'll produce 11 grams of ingot wasp alloy. Pull the lever, and we have our wasp alloy, which for me is completely useless and I will never use, but uh, it, it's nice to, to see how it works. Um, now, I want to stop that god awful noise from happening. I'm going to make sure my queue is empty, yep, and uh, this is turned off, and I'm going to just suck some of these gases out. Um, so output, I'm just going to turn this pressure valve on and just uh, drop the pressure, pressure below 40. Probably get it down to about 30 or so. So it should stop making the sound now. Let's, uh, whoops, wrong way. 29.64, that'll do. I said about 30, that's good. And uh, in here we should have some, uh, some gases, some nitrous, some oxygen, some nitrogen, a lot of CO2. Um, I, I'm going to probably want to empty my waste tanks before I um, shovel this into here and start cooling it. But, but, the, but there we go. There's your uh, your Waspaloy and your Inconel. 
Easy. I have to change the filter as well. <laughs> I have to get another medium filter. Okay, so uh, I don't even speak it anymore. I'm not out mining anymore. Let's uh, let's go inside. And uh, let's get these sensor visor, the sensor goggles. These things I love. They're amazing. And um, I'm gonna gonna run around and mine with them a little bit, and and show you uh, why they're so incredibly amazing. I'm gonna leave this uh, housekeeping duties uh, filter for later. I'm gonna empty on my waste tank, so unfortunately on screen. I apologize for that. Uh, the reason is I wanna I wanna end this episode on my way on it whilst I'm out mining, and then when I come back, yeah, you'll uh, I, I will be on my way back from mining. That, that's the plan anyway, so you don't have to watch me sit there mining a ton of resources. Because next episode, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, if I don't stuff it up, even if I do stuff it up, it doesn't matter because uh, oxygen's infinite now. Uh, but next episode, I'm hoping for the astraloy. Um, okay, let's get this on. I'm going to have to get the right resources in there. One of the right resources will be this Inconel. Honestly, I'm never, ever going to use this thing here, this uh, Waspaloy. Um, I might, I don't know, stick it back in the furnace and pop it out as reagent mix. And then um, stick it in a centrifuge to get my ores back. So I can I can kind of deconstruct that. It's it's so That's why I was happy to make it, make it and just show everyone how easy it is to make. Um, okay, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to need one of these, which is iron, gold, copper, silicon. So I'm going to need to find all those resources. There's my silicon. This steel, 500 grams exactly. Oh, I'm going to need some, aren't I? For my sense, ah, uh, it's a shame. kind of want to just make some steel real quick, but uh, let's, let's not. I want to use that exact 500 ingot. Um, but anyway, let's, let's get that in there. And we need... Um, Iron, copper, gold. This is just for the ore scanning thing. Yeah, it's all in here. There's some silver in there, but that's going to be used to make my uh, new filter. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Iron and uh, well, gold and copper get in there. Iron get in there. I'm going to need those. What else am I going to need? Um, okay, I'm not going to make one of those yet. I'll explain in a, in a second. Sensor. So here it is. Sensor lenses. These things are game changing. Um, they require steel, silicon, and inconel only. So uh, let's just print off some. No, print off one. They actually go in your glasses slot right here. They require a battery too. I'm going to need a large battery. I'm probably going to have to liberate the battery from my from my hand drill. I don't know. I don't need a large battery in there. Uh, you can have a small battery. What am I doing? I'm going to need this in a moment. Okay, my sensor lenses. Are you ready yet? 77 okay i can dump a waste tank in here while i'm waiting uh get get in there okay uh yeah flush through i don't mind sensor lenses yeah they're here stop pause um these are the sensor lenses they go here and when you open them up you've got battery and sensor processing unit so that was that other thing i was talking about before um so if i, if I type in sensor you see the sensor processing unit it says ore scanner you need one of those to go in there, and that's that's very cheap. You know, it's just you know, early game materials to make that. It's not not really a problem. You just need one. So we get that really quick. Thank you. And we're going to throw that in there. And now when I turn this on, look what's happening under the ground. There's iron FE. There's some copper under there. Iron. What about through here? We can see. Uh, CO, Cobalt, 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 I'm going to be digging that up like crazy. The Gold, that's AU, Gold. You can actually see the resources where they are underneath the ground. It really eats through a lot of battery, but um, uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It, Like I said, it's game changing. It really uh, makes the game, like, makes mining a, a breeze. Uh, I was uh, changing out another tank. I, sh I should just keep doing that while I'm talking. Uh, okay, so that that's it. They're the sensor lenses. They're incredible. You can use them with your visor on. They're they're fantastic. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, what am I going to be doing next with resources? Um, uh, the next thing I want is the nuclear batteries. Uh, so with astraloy and everything. So I'm probably going to want to stick all. Did I just stick steel in there? Get out of there! 
I'm going to need that steel. That steel I'm going to turn into... Um, I'm going to turn that steel into Astraloy and just make a whole other batch of steel. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Let's just, let's just get ourselves cleaned up. And let's go out mining with the, uh, with the sensor lenses. And, uh, and I'll just show you how easily and quickly it works. We'll just do a little fly around. Uh, the ink canal is going to be part of nuclear batteries. Silicon probably is going to go in here. Uh, that, that'll do for now. Nuclear batteries require ink canal and astraloy. So uh, I'm about to go on a big, big mining trip. But uh, don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mine on screen. Um, not only, only small bits and pieces as I need them. But uh, I'm going to do a major mining run uh, and get all the things I need for astraloy on this mining run. Uh, I'm just uh, getting myself completely prepared and ready. Oxygen tanks need to be filled. Waste tanks need to be emptied. Batteries need to be changed out. And my greenhouse needs to be checked. And let's get this one in here. I don't have a filter. It's okay. That filter will last me a while. I'm not going to waste time. Yeah, in hindsight, when I was throwing minerals in the machine, I should have put, plucked... Um, the, the materials I needed for a medium filter out of them and, and got that really quick. But uh, I'm in a rush, I'm in a rush. Uh, okay, dokey, I've got an oxygen tank in here chilling. I'm dying of thirst. It's another thing I need to do, open this up and replace this water bottle with... So I'm all ready for my big mining trip. Where's, where's my... Where's this? Uh, seven, this is honestly going to be enough because I'm going to be coming back to base all the time to check on my greenhouse. So, yeah, that's fine. I just need to make sure I have the water bottles handy. I don't. I ran out of cables. Wow. Um, is there anything else I need to do in here? Not really. A propellant's fine. I don't need to fill that up. Um, okay, I'm, I'm about to go on a massive mining trip. I'm going to take you guys with me for the first minute. Just so you can see the sensor sensor lenses in action. Uh, let's see if we can find some like water trapped underneath the surface somewhere or something like that. See if I can find a big cobalt deposit. Do I have anything in my mining belt? I hope it's empty. It's empty. Good. <gasps> water! I forgot my water! Okay, I'm going to duck into the watershed. I just realized. Duck into the watershed, drink a water bottle, fill those two up, then go mining. That's what I forgot, water. I was going to pick some off the shelf on the way through. Okay, this steel ingot is on me because that's going to all be turned into astraloy. Uh, not all of it, actually. Um, actually, yeah, I've stuffed up. I need, to, um, I need to make that an even number. It's currently an odd number, which is not going to work. I actually have to go back into my base anyway. I'm not going to the watershed. Ah, my stuff up has wasted me like a minute of time. I'm going to turn this on so I don't forget. Um, I, I'm going to need water. I, I, I can't I can't do this. Uh, sorry, everyone. Sometimes you're in such a rush, you, you, you forget to do the obvious. Um, I, I need a... Um, I need an even number of steel. What I'll do is I'll probably just print out five kit walls and make it 490. And uh, that, that, that'll work. That'll work well. Okay, let, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Internal main base door. So when you rename doors, it actually writes the name of the door on the door, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, my base is uh, really nice now. Um, look at that, 366 degree temperature in here. I'm looking in the bottom right here. Uh, much cooler in here than it is out there, which means I don't chew through waste tanks as quickly inside my base. I must remember to check my greenhouse. I've, uh, I've had entire plant crops die before on me. Um, and the oxygen levels in there are probably... I need, probably need to do some housekeeping. I, I'm not going to. I'm just going to trust that I have enough CO2. I'm pretty sure I do. The, these, are, these are all full. Okay, these are all empty. I, I'm going to need to do a big water thing very soon. But anyway, I've got my spare water. Let's just stick this in here. I left this machine on. What was I doing? Yeah, I'll have to do that later. Uh, I got my water done. Uh, I can't see my greenhouse from, from here. I, I need to put a monitor there. Okay, w water supplies topped up. All good. Oh, whoops. 
You, you can click on these too. You don't have to click on the cycle button. Okay, big uh, big journey um, about to happen. So I'll, I'll have my sensor lenses open. I'll have my mining belt open. I'll, I'll probably not have this open. Uh, I usually keep this open actually, but I might rely on the warnings. Just keep my screen as, as, as bare as possible. I'm at the 50 minute mark. I just wasted a couple of minutes because I forgot about water. It's, uh, it's easy to do, easy to do. It's better that I grab that water now than, um, than mess around with water later on. Okay, so greenhouse temperature is uh, beautiful. It's a bit on the low side and it's cooling, but it cools very slowly, so it's all good. Okay, uh, let, let's have a fly around and let's turn my lenser sensors on. Okay, so there's some gold deep under there I didn't know about. There's some silicon under there I didn't know about. It's pretty cool. Uh, what's this? Okay, uh, so that's all coal. And uh, yeah, we can fly around here. Sometimes the stuff on the surface doesn't doesn't actually do anything. It says C. What is C? Maybe that C is nickel. Oh, is that an N for nickel? N-I, yeah, that's nickel. I'm like, why does it say C with a weird line on it? So that's N-I, that's nickel, so it does tell you. Um, so I'm going to need nickel, and I'm going to need cobalt. I'm going to need a lot of things. Um, cobalt is like the purpley color. Uh, water is kind of the similar color to coal, just a little bluier. So that is H2O. See, so that's water I would never have found. If I tunnel straight down to that square there, I get I get water. I get ice. Water ice. Uh, there's water there, there, and there. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. It's kind of hard to see. You have to turn the lenses off to see normally. But uh, with them on, you can see everything that's going on underneath the ground. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it's accurate enough for you to find the resources you're looking for. So there's more water deep down there, so I can get water anytime I want. This is what I want, cobalt. It looks like I've already dug a bit out of here, if I turn the sensor lenses off. This will be the main cobalt supply I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into. Uh, so everyone, uh, that's, um, I'm just going to sit down here. Uh, that, that's it for this episode. Uh, you've seen my furnace in action. You've seen the two free advanced alloys, uh, Inconel and Waspaloy, and you've seen the sensor lenses and what they can do. So uh, next episode, um, I'm going to... Well, right now, I'm going to uh, do a ton of mining off-screen and get all the resources I need for, for like, Astraloy in particular. And uh, I'll start up next episode, probably at the end of my mining run. And, uh, and hopefully, we can make some Astraloy and get some nuclear batteries pointed out, pumped out. Uh, so, I uh, hope everyone enjoyed that, and uh, I'll, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.